are calendar. These rocks and minerals. It's little semiconductor. It's just a little bit of the rock side of the day. There's two at the board. I watched this one for the rock cable and then eight drums, uh, and then watch this rock cycle one after. So in class, we only uh, got two thirds of the, of the notes done. We'll finish it the next time I see you. So here's the rock cycle itself, just like any other cycle. Um, maybe some words up here, you can play with other bicycle has two wheels. Right? Life cycle, water cycle, lunar cycle, kind of a regular repeat pattern. The rock cycle is a little different, um, more like the water cycle. It can go a different pathway from ground cycle. Okay, this cycle takes a very, very long time. Some rocks may go through all three. Um, some rocks may just bounce back and forth between two kinds. It just depends. Okay, but the three main kinds of rocks are classified by how they're formed. So that's our focus here: the processes that form the different rocks. For a warm up, I have. A list of many kinds of rocks that you think of. Just want to see where we we're at. See if you got these levels on your warm up section of your science paper. Get the geology warm up to do list. Okay, it's pretty popular. Okay. But go ahead and get this drawn. If you pause me and bring it up to the thing on your screen, go for it. The first time we'll start with eight because that's like the primary. Everything has to be in these rocks to get those. So that word eight like the ignition of a car or the ignited flame, right? And it's fire. And if I'm going to have an Amos rock, that's going to be one with magma or lava. Depends on if it's below the ground, that's magma. Above the ground, that's lava. It's the same substance. The words just indicate where they are. So it's kind of a back and forth process here. Uh, if an Amos rock is melted, it will become one of those. And when magma or lava is cooled, it'll become. Obviously, there's other kinds of rock, and you're really familiar from elementary school with weathering erosion. That just happens if it's wind and water, whether it's a river or a glacier. The weathering is breaking, and the erosion is moving. And so when it breaks, it moves it, it makes sediment, which is little pieces of rock. Some people try to say sand for one of their types of rock. Sand, pebble, boulder, all those are rocks, sites, different classifications. Of rock size, any kind of rock can be sand or pebble or boulder, um, depending on the size of rock. So we just call all rock pieces sediments. But from there, that's not enough, that's just pieces. You've got to make them be one whole thing. So to do that, it's called compaction and cementation, which is just a fancy way of being smush. <laughs> Smushed because of the weight of more rock pressing down on it. They get a trash compactor, right, or a compact car is tiny, packed into a small space. Or like a trash compactor on Star Wars, the walls are coming in, so they smush them. And so they get safe. And then cementation, they've got cement like the sidewalk. Right? That's rock that's been glued together, or rubber cement, which is a type of adhesive or glue. Okay, so that's the process there that's actually cementation. And that will make sedimentary rock. And the name is sedimentary rock. That can go and be weather eroded, go back to sediment, and do other things to get it. Now, metamorphic, this word, you may recognize it from cartoons like the Power Rangers, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Or you may recognize it from butterflies, like the caterpillar that goes into the food, he goes to metamorphosis, it changes its form. So morphine change. Uh, meta, depends on your word you're putting in, but it's form or state of being. So this will make it something new due to heat and pressure. So I think when we did the instruments here, we switched it. And so this is obviously not going to be up on the surface because it's not going to be hot enough. It's going to be 115 in the desert, but still not hot enough to melt this kind of rock. Uh, and not even melt it, just the form. So they got plastic. Plastic smooth to get hot enough, works, and then pressure. So these two things together um, will make this into a new rock that's a chain of nature. So with the pressure, you might be diamond. You want to take coal, applying that pressure over time, you'll become diamond. That would fall into the category here with metamorphic. They're just some things that you might be interested Then we went a little bit more in detail with two of the kinds. We'll do the third kind next time. In this, okay. um, 
make her move from him. So I think it's the E for the O would be called it. Not this kind of thing. That is molten chocolate log cake. That's what it is. Right? So this can be lava or magma, you know, where it is. And that helps us classify it as either intrusive or extrusive. They can enter and exit. Right? Inside, outside. So if your magma is below the surface, it's going to take a very long time to cool. Like keeping something in a warmer, like a bouquet warmer. Or you underneath all of your blankets, not wanting to get out into the cool air. So it's going to slow down super very coolly, which allows crystals to form. Crystals that are large enough for us to see with our eyes. The big granite, like the granite countertop, all those little chunks of color are crystals that have formed because it cools so slowly. Um, the opposite kind, or the other kind, is extrusive. This makes it outside the surface, usually with a volcano or the ocean bridge, anywhere that magma can come to the surface and become lava. So, see my volcano here exploding. Um, when this lava hits the air, which is much cooler, even if it's in a crazy hot place, it's still significantly cooler than the magma chamber and volcano. So, it can hit the air or hit the water in the ocean and cool off suddenly. So quickly, the crystals don't have time to form to a size we can see. They're still there, but they're so tiny, we have to have a microscope to see. And so these don't appear to have crystals to the naked eye. An example, some of you have already heard of, like the salt being on the ocean crust. Obsidian, sometimes we've heard it called flat glass or dragon glass. It looks like literally flat glass, so smooth. You can make yourself which one you're falling. Scoria, most people just refer to that as red lava rock. So we see it in people's uh, flower beds and landscaping. The kind you don't want to step on with bare feet because it's got lots of holes and it's kind of filthy. So these holes are air bubbles that when it cooled, the air got trapped and left a bubble there that's now empty at the top, which holds the lava. Same thing with pumice. Pumice is like a light gray rock usually, and it also has holes. It's Sometimes used for pedicure, like to scrub the bottom of your feet to get the dead skin off. It's like a cheese grater, but but a rock. And so those holes help scrape off the dead skin cells. So that's what pumice, not pumice, for heart. And then we've got sediment,ary and we already have a sediment dome of rocks. And you can see the city, the weather and erosion has already happened. So the process involved here are deposition.
all of this rock around here and say hello in limestone. And you can tell it's limestone that poured a little bit in rock. So like the hallway to Text Hill, um, if you dug up a rock in the backyard, probably limestone. So start paying attention when you're out and about in the car, especially now at like Gold's Gym, Taco Bell, or when, that area where they cut the rock or up by Sonic or up by the Target shopping center. You can see the layers of that rock. That's all limestone. And there's places where you can see like actual seashells that didn't get smushed. Most of them have been smushed over time because of pressure, but some of them have it, and you can see different kind of seashells. So that's coming from these features. We'll put that in on down at the bottom. Because remember, all this used to be covered by a very shallow ocean. Now we'll get to metamorphic next time. And we will be playing uh, the rock cycle games. We need a single six sided dice. Look around your house, you probably have one for me. If you don't, if you're not, I will have a digital one attached to our assignment. It will just make life a little easier for you if you have one. So you can read that in puzzles here. This rock cycle maze, save that for after we finish our notes in your game. This is just to help you with some of the progress. If you can print it great, if not, you can just uh, pick like a four by three. And you can just pick a four by three grid on your your tactical book and trace your pathway that way. Have a great day.